Phew, you've passed your first certification. You're actually a certified business analyst. But now what do you do? Do you really want to go forward for additional certifications? Does it really make sense? My name is Stephanie Lockwood Doucette. I'm a self-professed certification junkie. Yes, I've got seven different certifications. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you four very simple tools and techniques that'll help you attain and maintain additional certifications while still keeping that sanity and still having time for your friends and your family and a few additional hobbies on the side. It really is possible that you can do it too. This is the last installment in a four part series on business analysis certifications. Check the section below and you can catch the links for where the other three episodes can be found. First little tip that I'd like to share with you is it does get easier. I know that first certification was hard. If you're a mid-level career professional, you've been out of school a long time, you've forgotten how to study, you might have a family, and it's hard to navigate all of that to get back into the school mode, to understand how to study, to actually get that certification. It's a lot of work. The good news is it gets a lot easier because what you will realize is that chances are the second certification leverages a lot of the knowledge, the tools, the techniques, the methodology that you learned in the first certification. And the third certification leverages some of that understanding that you obtained from the first two certifications so it gets easier still. And so on and so on and so on. The second tip I'd like to share with you is that if you are strategic about how you select your courses, how you select your learning activities, you can take the PDUs from that first certification and use it to gain your second certification. And then taking those PDUs for the first and second certification, you can train for the third certification. It really is that easy. Third tip that might be useful for you is recognizing that when you do engage in a learning activity, that you can apply those PDUs against multiple different certifications. For example, if I was to take a course in general analysis methodologies, I can definitely apply that towards my CBAP certification. I can apply that towards my PBA certification, and I may also be able to apply it towards my PMP certification. So it is quite possible to double dip. And finally, my last word of advice is to be the architect of your own career. Yes, there's a lot of certifications in the market there, but they're not all of use to you. You have to look at your market. You have to look at what you're personally interested in and pick certifications that bring value to you personally. So there you have it. Very quick, four little tips on how you can obtain and maintain multiple certifications to help extend the breadth of your business analysis skills and capability, as well as provide additional value to employers because additional learning provides additional perspective, provides additional insight, provides additional value. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. It's been my pleasure to speak with you and share those insights, those tips, that practical perspective that I have gained over the course of my career. Please take a moment to click that thumbs up icon and subscribe. Check out those notes below so that you can catch the links to the previous episodes in this series and leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you and learn if there's any other way that I can help you achieve your career objectives. My name is Stephanie Lockman Doucette and this is Progera, Practical Perspectives in Project Management and Business Analysis. It's been my pleasure to speak with you today. Until we meet next time, take care.